So Avengers Endgame, how will it end? In this video, I'm gonna talk about three things. Characters, the new trailers, and my thoughts, or my guess, on how this movie is going to end. Welcome to my channel, guys. I'm so glad you're here. So, real quick, let's get into it. Characters. Okay, so from the movie Avengers Infinity, we have Thor, Rocket, Captain America, Black Widow, Hawk, War Machine, and two characters from the Wakanda Kingdom. Okay, people that weren't in this movie were Ant-Man and Hawkeye. These two were not in the movie, but according to the trailers, they are alive. Ant-Man, as we saw in the end of the credit scenes, he's stuck in the quantum realm. And Hawkeye, we don't know what happened, but so far in the trailers, we find out that he probably lost his family. And off the planet Earth, we have Iron Man and Nebula who are stuck in another planet. Oh, and I can't forget also uh, Captain Marvel who is in other planets, you know, doing her thing. Who are dead? We have Vision. He died. Thanos killed him. We have we have Loki also killed by the hands of Thanos. We have Hendal or Hen Hendal Hendal Hendal. Sorry if I messed up that name. Uh, Thanos again, Thanos killed him. And we have Gamora who also Thanos killed. Okay, so who were the characters now that were missing or vanished? So in the Ant-Man movie we have Hope, the Wasp, and Hank who were banished from the Ant-Man movie. From the Avengers movie we have Black Panther, uh, Bucky, Wanda, Sam, Groot, Nick Fury and his like right hand man or woman, Captain Hills, Star Lord, Strange, Spider Man, Drax, Mantis. That's pretty much it. Okay, so let's start off with uh, Tony and Nebula who are stuck in the Thanos planet. How are they gonna get home, right? That is the question. Uh, my theory of how they're gonna get home is really easy. In the movie where Nebula and her team came in, or Star Lord's team, they came in, uh, they never showed that their ship was destroyed. So I'm assuming that they're gonna leave in that ship back home. So the shot that we saw from Tony being stuck in space. I don't think that is actually going to be uh, Tony and Nebula stuck in space. That's just my theory. Now, I know they show them both stuck in space and you know, like worry and all this stuff, but I don't think that's quite the what's going to happen because, uh, again, they never showed that Star Lord ship was destroyed in the movie. Okay, so in this characters we have, you know, Tony who is a major genius. Uh, we have Nebula and Rocket who are tech, you know, techies. They're also very smart. Uh, we have Thor who is one of the strongest Avengers. Uh, and what, what does he have? Well, he has not only strength, but he can also travel anywhere he wants in the universe with Stormbreaker, uh, which is his new hammer. Uh, we have Hulk who's strong but right now he is kind of struggling to turn into the Hulk. So Hulk I mean. Uh, so who knows when he's gonna come out in the movie but I'm pretty sure that he's gonna come out somewhere somehow or maybe he just won't. Okay so we have also Hawkeye who you know becomes someone else in the movie. We have Black Widow. Um, the Wakanda team. But they pretty much just have like the technology of the technology of Wakanda, but I haven't really seen that they've traveled to space, so... But they are strong because, I mean, they literally fought off Thanos' army, so... Now you have Ant-Man who has, you know, the technology to go into the future or to the past or, you know, all those things because he can go into the quantum and, and do that. But you got to be careful and you got to have special skills and the people that knew all about it are gone. Uh, so you also have Cap uh, in Captain America. He's strong, he's fast, he's very athletic, uh, but pretty much he can't do anything without any other Avengers. He's a great leader, he's a great planner. Uh, so we're gonna see some plans that are gonna come up to uh, get the people back. Cause I'm assuming the main plot of this movie is trying to get everyone back since Thanos like took everyone or half of the the population of the universe. Then we have Hawkeye who is like on a killing spree and he's killing like a bunch of people like in China or Japan or somewhere there and uh, we see 
that Black Widow, you know, tries to, in my opinion, he, she's gonna try to convince him or something like that to join the team and he's like suffering from something. But we got, we got fighters, we have techies, we have smart geniuses, Hulk, which Banner is super smart as well. So they have a pretty uh, good team that is left. They're calling it the original Avengers that are left. That are going and like gonna take Thanos off, uh, the, uh, Thanos on. So these are kind of the, the, the things that they have, the powers, the abilities, to do something. Now, what does Thanos have? You know, uh, we didn't talk about Thanos, but he's alive, he's back at his farm, he's living his life uh, that he said he was gonna do and give everything up. Now, I've heard from other reviews that maybe Thanos is going to, you know, return everything back. Now, my guess is, look, if he did something that was like crazy, and he lost everyone. He's literally by himself. And I see him as a person who is dedicated and committed and doesn't go back and forth, but he stays on track as the enemy or as the main villain uh, in this movie. I think that he's gonna fight the Avengers so that they don't bring back what he did because I don't think he would do all that work and then give it all up again. You know, because then again, he's going to be like, well, I want the glove again to do the same thing because he was trying to fix a problem unless it's a, it's a plot twist and it's, he's doing it for death, which in the comics uh, is like his lover. Okay. And we can't also forget Captain Marvel who is coming back to earth to see what's going on. And I'm pretty sure she felt it because probably people in her place were vanishing as well. So I'm thinking she's coming back to earth. I want to say she's like the key player who's going to fight Thanos and like you know take him down but i mean who knows i don't think they want to you know fight thanos really quick or her or her fight thanos and beat him real quick i think that would be weird unless the whole movie is going to take place on getting everybody back and they're going to fight thanos in the beginning i don't know it could be it could be anything you know at this moment yeah but she's a big uh, key in this in this movie and you know she's one of the strongest avengers there as well so combining with the other avengers like they're they're pretty strong they'll probably go through i'm thinking somebody has to die or something but if they have all the the stuff like from the glove all the stones pretty sure they can bring everyone back now let's talk about this new trailer which is part of the movie according to what the captions say the avengers endgame film clip so i'm assuming that either this part is in the movie or it is in the movie or in the recording of the film but they cut it off and they just put a bunch of stuff together. I don't know. I mean, because when you come into filming, you can manipulate a lot of things. So what do we see in here? We see that they're talking about getting the stones again. My questions to this is how in the world are they going to get this done, right? Because we see them trying to come up with the plan and then we see that they, boom, they spark a plan. They're like, you know what? It's like the last thing that we have, let's go do it. It's, you know, we have no other way. We have no other fancy things to do. We're just gonna do what we can with our strains. So let's go do it. Now they don't show really everyone. I know there's other little trailers and clips that they've been showing, especially on their Instagram page. And the other trailer that I saw was, you know, when Captain America was giving his speech and he was saying that, you know, you know your teams, you know what you're supposed to do, you know the plan, well, let's do it. You have each other's back, protect each other. You know, you see them walking with like this suit where they all look like like uniformed and I saw them all put their hands in I actually paused on that and counted the hands and there's actually only eight hands that are shown plus um, rocket tent we have rocket ant-man iron man captain america black widow hawkeye uh, nebula and war machine those are the ones that I saw walking putting their hands in the ones I didn't see is Thor and Captain Marvel now where are they in this part of the scene I'm thinking they either you know went somewhere else because because they have the power to do it. I mean, literally, uh, Captain Marvel comes from like another planet or part of the universe to Earth. And Thor came from nowhere into Earth with uh, Stormbreaker. So there's like different plots, different things that are going on, maybe at the same time, maybe not, maybe people going to the past, maybe going to the future. I mean, who knows, right? Because 
this trailers I'm thinking that they put different voices from you know past movies they use some of the clips from the uh, old movies that they made I'm thinking they just put a bunch of stuff in there so they can get everyone confused everybody come up with a, a bunch of you know um, guesses of what's gonna happen in this movie but I really think it's gonna be a big surprise and it's gonna blow all of our minds so with that said uh, yeah let's move on to the next one okay so how will it all end right that is the big question first of all they come up with the idea of getting the stones right because that's pretty much what they need they need to bring everybody back so they need the stones. second they go get the stones and they bring everyone back but however Thanos will fight them because he did what he did but he doesn't want to undo it in my opinion and then Thanos is gonna lose but as well you know if one villain falls another one rises and so I think this is the opportunity to bring another villain into play whether it be an old villain whether it be a new villain but it's somebody who's gonna come back or somebody who they're gonna introduce and overall I think Thanos is still gonna want the glove whether he loses and they put him you know in, in like a crazy prison or they kill him and he comes back to life I'm thinking that he's still going to want the glove and the power to do whatever he wants with it and the very end of this movie i think is still going to be a to be continued because they have a lot of movies they can make with this they can still extend it and they can make you know a bunch of villains thank you for watching this video it was just a really really quick video of what i thought and all those things that were going on this trailers that are showing this is not a spoiler this is just me coming up with you know guesstimates of what i think is going to happen is it actually going to be in the movie is it actually going to happen i don't know but this is what i saw i gathered together from the trailers and i'm giving it to you so that you can come up with your own conclusion because that's pretty fun to do and so hopefully if you are right then awesome if you're not then great because now you get to see what really happens so guys we see you in the next video so peace